Hi everyone, I'm here to show you how to work with Think Central and to get in to see different lessons that I'll be posting. This is the Think Central page. I'm logging in with a uh, mock student account that was set up <clears throat> to help teachers see what it is that you see as students. Okay, so I'm logging in here as that. And remember, it's very important that you remember your school so you don't have to keep putting in this information all of the time. Now I'm going to click log in. Yours probably won't have quite as many things listed here as this example account does, but this should be your next screen that you see. You want to click on My Library. Now from here, you can go to your Go Math Student Edition. Make sure it says Go Math Student Edition G4. G stands for grade, so the fourth grade. It will pop up in a separate window. Uh, you could either do the HTML5 ebook or the Flash ebook. I like the Flash ebook. That's what we usually use in class. You might have to give permission to open it. Uh, just accept to using Reader and Flash. Okay, but then you'll go to your table of contents. Again, this is very similar to what we do in school. And then you could use your arrows to go over to whatever chapter you're doing. In this example, I'm going to go to Chapter 9, Lesson 1. So I'm going to go to Chapter 9. I could click on the main page, and it shows you the show what you know. Flip over two pages, get to Lesson 9.1. Okay, This is, has all the examples like we would have in our textbook, which most of you probably don't have at home. But this is what I use in class every day when we go through it together. And then you would go from page to page, and then you get to the example problems of share and show and the on your own, just like we do in class. Right? To get to what I'm asking you to look at as the assignment, when you're back here at your library, if you click on where it says Go Math Standards Practice Book, SE, G4, SE stands for Student Edition, the G stands for Grade 4, you click on it. Okay? Similar process, it will pop up in a new window looks a little bit different but as far as size goes but you'll click on table of contents your arrows are now up here again this is very similar to what we do in class so i'm going to page over to chapter nine and i'm going to go down to 9.1 relate tenths and decimals you could either click on there you could click anywhere on that line to get 9.1 relate tenths and decimals the only thing is this is not a an editable document what you might want to do if you have a printer, feel free to print it out. I'm not expecting you to do that, but you could print it out if you'd like, or you could just simply write the question number and your answer. Okay, so you'll have the front as usual, then make sure you turn to the back, which would be the even numbered page. And for that, you just have to write the number and the uh, letter of your answer. If you, I would appreciate it if you'd also show me your work, just like we show our work in class. Uh, you could send that to me in a picture. You could send that to me in some sort of scan document if you know how to do that, if your parents can help you. Or you could simply type the answers in a message to me in an email, in a Google Classroom uh, message. That would work as well. Um, just do the best that you can. Uh, I know it's a little bit harder. I, I wish there was a more interactive way to do this. We're working on that. Um, so if, if something does come of that, I will keep you posted. Uh, but hopefully this helps, and hopefully you're enjoying this time. This is not due until the end of the week. Uh, different deadlines will change, obviously, as we go along. But for now, work on that one, and then have some fun. Do the interactive uh, student edition. I'm going to come down here, interactive student edition G4 for grade 4. This is fun as well. It's got some cool characters. If you need some help, you could review this as well, chapter 9, and I'm going to go to that 9.1. You see there's this cool fox character and uh, different things that will load and all these cool animated things. Lots of features with this. Okay, there's lots of tools. And How can you record tenths as fractions and decimals? Okay. You could turn off the sound like I just did there. You could use closed captioning if you need the sound off but still want to know what they're saying. So hopefully this helps. Uh, send me a message. Have your parents send me a message in Dojo, and I'll see what I could do to help you out along the way. Thanks a lot, and have yourself a great day.